Welcome, my dear students, to your English class. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. In this class, we'll talk about how to write an essay. And here, I will show you some steps for do for doing this. Uh, well, actually, as you can see right here, it says, for more, for some, writing and it says as simple as sitting down on the computer and beginning to type. But a lot more planning goes into writing an essay successfully. If you have never written an essay before, or if you struggle with writing and want to improve your skills, it's a good idea to follow a number of important steps in the essay writing process. And by the way, it's very useful for us know about it because they are going to help us to improve and do a better writing a, a better writing activities and also to give your opinion in a sexually way all right but first of all we should know about kinds of essays that we have to write for the narrative essay uh well in this case you you will try to to tell the story or impact information all right about any topic especially about our career of course uh, like a story, all right? That persuasive um, essay right here. Well, actually, this word, yes. Mm -hmm. We have to convince, convince the reader about some point of view, all right? The expository essay right here. Well, actually, it, you know, it uh, try to explain to the reader how to do a given process. In this case, you could. For example, write expository essay with step by step instructions on how to make a peanut butter sandwich, or here in our case, step by step how to apply or make a procedure. Alright? Now, uh, after you decide what kind of essay you are gonna write, we have this important point. Ah, do not forget about something important. There are other types of essay, the argumentative essay that you have to do it, this is especially what you have to do, is to take a position on the controversial issue or a specific topic about, and prevent evidence in favor of your position. Other, we have the compare and contrast essay. Well, in this case, we try to identify similarities and differences between two subjects, all right? And also we have a problem solution essay. In this case, we have to describe a problem, convince the reader to care about the problem, propose a solution, and be prepared to dismantle objections. All right? So, it's time to talk about the brainstorming. Here it says, you cannot write an essay unless you have an idea of what to write about. Brainstorming is the process in which you come up with a say topic. You need to simply sit and think about ideas during this place. Well, actually, you have an idea about it, of course, will be about your career, about the scientific articles that we already, uh, that you are reading, by the way, and also some topics about presentations in before class. But here I will give you just short advice about it. For example, write down everything that comes to your mind as you can always narrow those topics down later. You know, brainstorming can be a, a great way to develop a topic more deeply and to recognize connections between various facets of your topic. In this case about our career, I strongly advise you to choose a topic that you are interested in that you like most about it, of course, about your career. As I told you, I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for this. As I told you, you can choose a presentation that you already did, or maybe a presentation of a classmate, or about the scientific articles, all right? Later we have uh, researched the topic, well actually, uh, uh, in this case here it says once you have done your brainstorming and chosen your topic you may need to do some research 
to write you to say. Go to library and search online for information about your topic. Well, actually, we cannot go to any library, but we can we can find information in the internet, right? Uh, keep your research organized, all right? This is the best advice I can give you. And it will be easy for you to refer back to. This will also make it easier to cite your sources, the sources when ready you finally your essay, all right? Most of the time, I strongly advise you to choose some scientific magazines, by the way, you can cite that in a different uh, reference that you need, especially Vancouver. All right, but my strong advice is you choose a topic that you really like, try to look for uh, some scientific magazines and thesis. Do not forget, I actually gave you before some scientific magazines, articles, and I can give you and I can help you again. Do not worry about it. All right, thank you. Develop a thesis. Your thesis statement is the main, the most important point you say. It is essentially one sentence that says what the say is about. For example, your thesis statement might be dogs are descended from wolves. Alright, so it's just an example about it. But you know, most important here is your thesis, your idea, your statement should be broad enough that you have enough to say about it. But not so broad, alright? That but because you can be thrown out. So try to be very specific about your idea in this case, alright? Of course, you are going to talk about a specific topic. Try just to focus on that thing, alright? Here it says outline your essay. Next step is to outline what you are going to write about. That means you want to essentially draw your skeleton of your paper. Writing an outline can help to ensure your paper is logical, well organized, and flows properly. All right, and later we have uh, what else? Uh, before, okay, <laughs> sorry for that, guys. <laughs> uh, before we finish with outline your essay, maybe uh, some advice I can give you is just. Be sure you have transitions between paragraphs so the reader understands how the paper flows from one idea to the next. Question is very important about it. It's very important about this say. It must be short. It must be short and very specific, by the way. All right. Here it says, fill in uh, also not idea, fill in supporting facts from your research. Under each paragraph, make sure each paragraph ties back to your thesis and creates a quasi understandable essay. Uh, yeah, try to choose the most important points from the research, and of course, you have to copy and, and put it, but you have to cite, do not forget, and also you can give your point of view about it and why did you choose that topic, and you are going to defend your ideas about it. Why do you think this is interesting and more about it? Okay. Alright, you say once you have an outline, it's time to start writing. Write based on the outline itself, flashing out your basic skeleton to create a whole classic and clear essay. Yes, it's really important about it. And also do not forget, do not forget, check for clarity. Consens consistency and the structure is very important, right? It's also, do not forget, it's really important to support your thesis of equality with the information in your paragraphs, all right? Each paragraph should have its own topic sentence, all right? You copy your idea and try to defend that idea, all right? That it, this is the most important sentence in the paragraph, so uh, the reader can catch it and can understand what it's gonna be about, all right? And do not forget, it's important to read your introduction and question Will the reader walk away knowing exactly what your paper was about, all right? And of course, it's really important to edit your writing to check spelling and grammar. This is very important, all right? 
Now the essay is written, but you are not quite done. Reread what you've written. Looking out for mistakes. Yeah, most of the time, especially you guys, try to be careful with the technical errors or mistakes that you can find. Also, it's really important to check for grammar, punctuation, and spelling errors or mistakes. Alright, I know uh, no, no one is perfect, but try to be sure about it. You can use some websites that they help you in order to find out or just to give you feedback about your your grammar, punctuation, and spelling. Grammarly, for example, is one. It's the best one for you. Uh, well, actually, uh, what else? Do not forget to pay attention to the quieted words. Most of the time, we try to repeat words and words. For example, that, that where's the word that t h a t. Most of the time, we tr we try to copy out every time. So try to be be careful about it. Right? Do not forget it. Mm -hmm. Something else more. I think that's all. Do not forget. Most important is very short, very specific. Give your point of view. And also, it's very important, as I, as I mentioned before, just to put an introduction and conclusion. And most important about it, do not forget to put the references. It's very important like this. If you chose websites, that's okay, you can put it. If you already chose scientific articles, thesis, you can put it in a right way. Okay? So do not forget it about it. I'm sure you will make an amazing job, by the way, too. Uh, something else that I had to tell you, I think that's all. Here, uh, this is the feedback for you. This is the feedback for you. Here, you can see, do not forget, introduction, attention, grabbing first sentence, brief explanation for opening, thesis statement, address the problem that you are going to talk about and the body elaborate on your thesis follow your points describe any uh, any doubts and obstacles that you encountered that you find out describe how you overcame these how you faced that and you got it successfully the conclusion explain how this experience mirrors your audience and their values beliefs, emphasize any lessons you learned, and thank the committee reviewing your essay. No, that's not okay, but I think A, B, Z is good. A, no, all right, they are important, by the way, don't worry. Yes. Uh, most important here, I'm giving you some important uh, issues here, um, some important words that you can use in order to make a good essay, all right? I hope you like it, I hope you can do it well, and that's it, I hope you like it, and of course in Pure Deck I will give you an example how to write an essay, you can follow that, but I'm sure you will make a better job, do not forget that to pick up an interesting topic about your career, some topics or some uh, specific uh, things about the uh, topics that we are developing during this class. Thank you so much. I know how you like it, do not forget to practice here. I often say that, many people explain that, but that, that, that's okay. I mean, we can got it, we can understand about it, so uh, anything, we can practice this. I mean, we can practice the pronunciation, we can practice some sentences in our class. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.